Hey everybody, this is Doctor Who Season 10. This is Episode 5 and this is Part 2 of The Green Death. Um, last episode, Joe went down into the mine. Um, the Doctor and the Brig turned up just as the, the kind of little lift was going down um, into the mine. People who go down there are turning green. So everything is kind of all go at the moment. Um, I'm enjoying watching this a lot, so I'm just going to get straight on into it. Let's go. Stop winding. No, I can't do that. They're going down below to help die events. Stop winding, I said. Quickly, quickly. I can't. The big one works. That might do it. Reverse the motor. That one works. You get a cable break. Get out, you man. Do as I say. Bring it out. Jobs are good in. It seems to have seized up. Yes. Here I, I hand it to you, Goyo. Felt like brake failure. Caught up in it, eh? Yes, there you go. How are we gonna get out of here? Oh, not that, that's for sure. Let's go find Di. Right. There you go, Bloodman. Right. But. Huh? Do you mind going down first? <laughs> you know, just in case I fall and die. We haven't got any cutting equipment, you see. I mean, the mines may not have actually. Oh, got, but I know where we can what get have been doing for a year? Global chemicals. Okay. It's the same as poor dead yours. Look. Yeah, he's glowing. Good heavens, anyone hurt? I see. Well, now it's engaged. No. Of course you can, Val. You must. It was too late to save the miner. He was already dead. But this, well, to leave them trapped down there, it's, well, yeah. it's murder. <laughs> Is anybody home? Yes. Process him. Is that wise? It is necessary. Do as I say. It's such a common voice, though. Oh. Have you ever seen anything like it before? No, never. What could have caused it? Brigadier, but we have nothing of that kind. What, in a place of this size? The emergency equipment was withdrawn some time ago to be replaced by thermic lances. They have not yet arrived. Oh dear, oh dear, you'll think we're woefully ill-equipped. I have given an exact account of the position. It hasn't. You're feeling quite well. Perfectly. I must go. No, hang about, old son. No panic. I've been wanting to have a word with you. We're not in the army now. The know. director shall hear of this. <laughs> He's like, yeah, whatever, son. You just go tell the director. Oh, it takes time, girl. It takes time. Hello, NCB. Can't quite rough here. Look, there's been more trouble. Yes, another accident. Oh, well, that's where you're wrong. Hang on a minute, move. It's sabotage. <laughs> What else can we do? I wonder if I can remember the way, though. Put a bit of paper. Um. <laughs> yes. What would make you put paper in your pocket when you were going down into a mine? No luck, Doctor. They haven't got me. Paper and DNA synthesis was quite remarkable for your age. A promising youngster, huh? No, no, no. I mean for the age that you live in. <laughs> now, you were about to make a suggestion, I believe, Professor. Why don't we just go back to Global Chemicals and take the equipment by force, if necessary? Creates diversion. It didn't take them long to get it, though, to be fair, did it? It's like a brain, really. This is like bloody. He can't go anywhere without being grasped on by this machine. Shall I terminate him? Negative. Apprehend him. Find out his function. But. But. 
Oh, let off here, blood when Bert is here. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah, that did the trick, didn't it? And you see an Aikido, gentlemen. I do hope I haven't hurt you. And very efficient. It is a bit it is efficient. Too, I say so. Thank you. You were about to explain your purpose. I've just come for really some cotton equipment. I'm attached to unit as a scientific advisor. Ah. Hmm. Come on, doctor. Three point thirty six pounds. Oh, that's right. You're back quickly, Brigadier. Look, sheer luck, actually, Doctor. Stopped for petrol, and there was a fellow in the corner of the garage cutting up an old banger. Everything <laughs> under control here. Thank you. He'd never thought of that before. Touch him. Yeah, he's probably, probably gone. He's dead. Glowing fluorescent. Yes, but they might, Joe! They might be dead too. Joe, just gotta find you? a shaft. Look, Come on, Brad. Not much further. He's not far now. Joe! Joe, can you hear me? You too. It's my only chance. Joe, away, I'll But I can't. You must. You must please go on. All right. I'll be as quick as I can. Extraordinary smell. Come on. I'll take him up in the service as quickly as you can. Let the professor take a look at him. What about you? I'm going on ahead to look for Joe. Tell the brigadier that I'll find her and bring her back, but don't let anybody come down looking after us. You understand? Yes, Doctor. Far too dangerous. Hey! Oh, Reef. That's why it smells so bad. Oh. It's always really funny watching when you see these kind of these monsters, it's, it always makes me chuckle, it always makes me chuckle when there's, there's something like this in it, but at the same time I find it really sweet that this is kind of, the, the kind of way, the direction that they went with this story especially, so um, I'm really looking forward to watching the rest of this one, um, I'm really enjoying seeing it, um, I'm still kind of trying to remember, try to remember as, as much as I can. Um, first part, I didn't really remember any of that part, but the kind of ending of this one I remembered quite well. Um, so this kind of came back to me more with this part than it did the first part. So I'm quite interested to see if I kind of remember as much from the next one. So I'll probably watch that and see you guys soon. Thank you.